How much were you asking for the game? It just um, depends. I think I'm, I'm asking five on the game space, but the Nintendo 64 we're selling it as a set. How much for the set? That was 40 bucks. Okay. How much do you want for the games? Five? <laughs> How much are you asking for games? Five or four for fifty. Can I look at these? Yeah, Alright, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey YouTube, I'm here to show my video game pickups for the third week of July 2015. Overall, pretty stellar week. Uh, most of the actually pickups were at one garage sale or a community sale, or it was really just a block sale. Um, that's where I got most of the stuff. Otherwise, uh, everywhere else was just so so. Uh, thrifting, not so much stuff. But I'll get right into thrifting. Um, one console, I guess the handheld console for eight dollars, a Game Boy Advance. Missing the battery cover though. And then a stack of games, either from Goodwill or um, Savers. Uh, Star Wars Knights of the Republic. I think this was from Goodwill, a 380. Same with this Civilization Revolution, the Xbox 360. Then uh, Zumba Fitness from Savers, three bucks. Same with Connect uh, Nike Training. It's been sitting at Savers for I think a month. I think someone marked it at ten dollars, so I wait till it turned half off. Worms 3D for the GameCube, and then uh, Press Your Luck. Got this last week. Let's pay three dollars. This one I paid uh, six fifty originally. It was sealed, but I had a feeling it wasn't, so I just opened it up. Uh, just Dance Disney Party uh, for the Wii. And I picked up one other console at um, Salvation Army. Uh, one PS2. I think it paid. 25 I wait for it to be half off. Uh, it seems like they overpriced stuff and wait for the Friday half off for people to come in. Uh, but it also came with uh, one sealed, actually two controllers, but one of them sealed, so definitely worth it for a sealed PS2 controller. Uh, so those were all my thrifting pickups. Pretty slow week thrifting wise, but garage selling went really, really well. Um, there was a posting for a block sale at 7, and then like two blocks down, there was another block sale at 8. So I headed down there around like 6.30 and that one at 7, like no one was setting up. But the other one, that's supposed to be at 8 o'clock. Looked like most people were ready to go around 6.45. So I was there like an hour and 15 minutes early. But they were all set up. And there was a posting for like an NES and N64 lot. So walked around there to kind of like reconnaissance and found that place first. So 
that's where the first video footage is. So I paid uh, at the end 125. I think I probably should have left some of it behind. Um, definitely the N64 that I saw was the best out of that lot. Um, paid 40 bucks for the N64 with all the games, three controllers, one regular, two regular color controllers, and then one um, I guess fancy colored one. Uh, so the games for the N64, 10 games in all. Uh, South Park, Mario Kart 64, that's obviously the best one out of the whole lot. Pilot Wing 64, Cruising USA, 007, well it's not enough. Wave Race 64, GoldenEye, and a few other games. Another South Park, South Park Rally, Monster Truck Madness 64, and uh, WrestleMania 2000. So like I said, they also had some Super Nintendo stuff, NES stuff. Go through the NES stuff I picked up. Probably should have passed on most of this stuff. Uh, just because they were asking $5 a piece. The Simpsons, Bart vs. Space Mutants, uh, Defender of the Crown, Super Dodgeball, Road Blaster, and finally To the Earth. And then for the Super Nintendo stuff, you saw the box stuff. All the box stuff were sports titles. I still picked it up. Um, the non-sports titles that were not in the box. Super Mario World. Definitely good pickup. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Very blockbuster picture final fight. <laughs> Super Baseball 2020. And then finally, uh, Super Mario All-Stars. I think I have a box of this. A really beat up box if I put together and sell that one together. So the box stuff, um, they're all missing the manual. I probably should have checked, but still, I don't think she would have went down given how early I was. Uh, so a box, Super NES controller, but the condition of the box, really nice, all of them. Hardball 3, baseball game, Jack Nicholas Golf, Bulls vs. Blazers, Super Batter Up, and then finally, uh, NBA Jam. Actually, there was one other game. Um, you probably can't tell. You thought I thought it was sealed, but it's a uh, Sports Illustrated Championship Football and Baseball. There's actually nothing inside, even though it says new. Um, if you look at the back, I don't know if you can see it. There's no special seal in this direction. I'm gonna open it up. It's, it feels empty. I know it's empty. Um, probably should have just passed, even though I paid the five dollars for it. Uh, I think that was everything at that one first rush. I actually went double back and picked up two more items because, um, like I said, it was really early. Five dollars a piece. Uh, Xbox 360 games, the Lego Movie, the video game, and uh, Minecraft, the Xbox 360. Uh, definitely good pickups for five dollars now. And then, like I said, everything I got was from actually this block sale. I was supposed to start at eight, but I was there at seven. I was there for like an hour. A lot of small pickups. Um, uh, most of the houses did have stuff for video games. Some asking quite a bit, so a lot of stuff I passed. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, five bucks. That was that one garage sale. Uh, Minecraft for the PS4, five dollars. A lot of five dollars. People were asking. The same sale. I picked up two games um, for the DS. Two for five. Uh, Mortal Kombat Ultimate for the DS and. Um, some game. I'm gonna assume it's Pokemon. I drew a Pokeball on it. <laughs> I haven't played it. I just took a risk. Um, see what it is. I haven't played it. And that same garage sale, I think someone else was hosting. Um, he had a PS3 for 120 in the past. Picked up two games for five bucks each. The Sly Collection and uh, Little Big Planet. Like, not worth that much than five. But I picked up two uh, PS3 controllers for five dollar piece. Definitely worth it. Um, I traded these into GameStop a while ago when they had the 50% bonus for like $20 a piece. Um, so after that, I don't think there's no spot switch for that stuff. But then you saw I applied the Xbox 360. I pretty much walked up while this guy was going through it. And I'm like, are you done with this pile? He's like, yeah. I think he, when he saw my pile, he was a little bit confused at what I picked up. Uh, I had a feeling he was also a reseller. Uh, the games I picked up, I think it was 5 for 20. Bully, Scholarship Edition, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, 
Condemned Criminal Origins, The Orange Box, and finally Quake 4. Um, probably an okay stack. <laughs> that guy was probably, I don't know if he was like, oh, I probably should have picked these games up or he wasn't so sure about the games. Uh, I think after that, there was a few more pickups. I'm trying to figure out the order. No spider food for the rest. Um, some reason I think the, the 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 battery just wore down or just used up too much of it. I think I was waiting for some guy to bring out some games. I had the footage running and he just took forever and it just ran out of the battery. Uh, the best lot of this week was this GameCube lot I picked up. I also had some Xbox 360 games. We'll go through those. Probably should have picked up everything, but I just left a few. So it was three for ten for everything that you're about to see here. Uh, UFC 2009 for Xbox 360, uh, Mirror's Edge, and then another Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, the Xbox 360 game so so, but definitely a very good stack of GameCube games. I think 17 games in all. Uh, Prince of per Persia, Warriors Within, Spyro Under the Dragonfly, Crazy Taxi, Def Jam Vendetta, Team NT or Team Mutant Ninja Turtle, two Battle Nexus, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all in really nice condition. Some were missing instructions. Most of them were complete though. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh, this one definitely the best one out of the whole lot. Fantasy Star Online episodes one and two. And then the rest of the games. WrestleMania X8, Luigi's Mansion. Really nice condition of Kirby at right. Great thing about these, these were none of these were player's choice. Prince of Persia, the two towers. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Worm Splast. And then finally uh, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cup. I did leave probably like five or six GameCube games behind. They're all sports titles. Probably just debating to pick them up or not. Uh, but still happy with what I got. Uh, still all on the same block sale. And then finally, one last pickup uh, at that block sale. Uh, very good prices. Um, yes, goes seven dollars. All of this together was twenty. So I don't remember the pricing for the other stuff I'm about to show you. Uh, the DS games, most of them only like a dollar or two dollars. Uh, Hot Wheels Track Attack, My Amusement Park, SpongeBob Landing SquarePants. Drawn to Life, the collection, Harry Potter, Lego Harry Potter, here's one through four, and then uh, Ben 10, Protectors to Earth. And then there were a few other games, I'm um, looking, a few other disc only games I remember. Um, one Xbox 360 game, Sonic the Hedgehog, a few Xbox games, uh, Star Wars, the video game, the Xbox, and Sonic Riders, the Xbox. Uh, I think that is everything at that block sale. Really, really nice block sale. It was all before 8 o'clock. I was debating to go there because it's a yearly thing, but obviously worked out really well in my part this week. So like I said, everything, most of the stuff I picked up was there. Um, I think there's a few other pickups that I got other places. A few other postings, they said they had video games, but it didn't happen or they just didn't have a garage sale. Um, so I'll go through the rest of the stuff. Only a few more items to show. Uh, this one, disc only. Um, I think I paid four dollars a game. All Xbox games. Um, save the best one for last. Uh, Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, Gun Valkyrie. Legends of Spyro. Legend of Spyro. Finally, Dungeon Dragons. Heroes, and definitely the best one for last. I uh, wish they had, it was complete, but it's not. Conqueror's Live and Reloaded for the Xbox. But disc wise, the surface, um, really nice condition. Very few like, scratches, if any, on any of these discs. Uh, that was after the box sale. And finally, uh, one other pickup, two garage sales in a row. Uh, I think I paid 10 bucks for this. PS2 controller, uh, Gauntlet, Dark Legacy for the PS2. Um, not sure if this is supposed to be together or two different games. I think it's two different. Grand Theft Auto 4, PS3, 
and then uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 episodes from Liberty City. Also in the lock was, uh, I don't know if it's this official Xbox 360 controller, but an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so that was pretty late in the day, like 9 o'clock. And then across the street was another garage sale. I only picked up one video game from there, it was Wii Sports for $2. But then, we got a bag full of uh, uh, controllers. I think I paid 14 bucks. for all Xbox, or PS3. Um, this is going to make all my money right here. The, I threw this in, the Xbox 360 wireless adapter. And then I think it was... One PS3, oops. One PS3 controller, and then uh, six Xbox 360 controllers. Um, pay only two dollars a piece each. Uh, I'm gonna trade them all in. Uh, and game stuff is like six percent bonus. I'm getting like twenty dollars for every PS3 controller as long as it's DualShock, and then I think it's fifteen or sixteen if you have the Pro card for the Xbox 360 controllers. Probably can make around the same amount if I sold them on eBay. Um, it's just Sometimes it's easier to deal with because I don't have to test them. If they are broken, they're not going to test them, so I still make my money. So I think that is everything this week. Um, like I said, really stellar block sale. Uh, some of the early pickups probably got too overexcited, I'd say. We'll see the Super Nintendo stuff and the NES stuff. Overall, a pretty stellar week. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. See ya.